Yo, what's happening, everybody? We are back with another episode of Pokemon Yellow for the Dagobah games. Um, I can't wait to play. Jake, I'm just seeing your message about the cosplay chick right now. Looks good, dude. I am hearting that up. Okay, so... It's time to go. Let's do this. Um, if I remember correctly, this week is going to be... We got to go visit Dill at the White House. And we have to figure out how to fight Misty for our next badge. So that's what we're going to do and train our Bulbasaur as we go. So here we go. All right. Let's play some Pokemon. Where are we? All right. Well, if I remember, Pikachu fainted, so... Right. Yeah, Pikachu's fainted, so we're gonna go heal up real quick. We don't want Pikachu to be... It really doesn't matter, because, like, Bulbasaur was the only issue. As far as all that happiness and friendship was concerned. So... Guys, this is part 8 of the episodes. There's plenty more to watch if you... Anybody out there is enjoying the content, um, we do a little bit of different, we do a few different things on this channel. Basically, when it, we do video games, guitar covers, guitar tutorials, original songs, and, um, toy movies. That's what my channel consists of, and there's actually some other videos, uh, I have, a uh, open discussions about anything and one of them is titled I just decided to title it Blind Nation Alcoholism to talk about mental problems and the struggle that I deal with or have dealt with and still do um with alcohol so okay you never really stop being an alcoholic once you are one, like, you just, can, you can just stay recovering, or you can, I don't know, that's not what we're here to do and talk about right now, though. Okay, let's start training. Looks like he might have some rock Pokemon coming from Mount Moon, it looks like. I bet you he's got a Geodude and an Onyx, probably. Or just a tote. I was gonna say, he probably has got a boatload of Geodudes. Okay. Yeah, what am I doing? I was just wanting to check my levels and stuff like that right now. So we got Charmander and Bulbasaur last time. That's crazy. Now all we gotta do is grab Squirt Squirtle and put Paris back in the PC. And get a Nidoran Nidorino when we go to the Safari Zone. And a Dratini. I'm thinking about pulling Butterfree and adding Dratini. Um, at some point when we get to the Safari Zone. So those are my plans. As far as battling the Pokemon League is concerned. Um, my team's going to probably end up being... Uh, Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, Needle King... Um, Dragonite, and... Either Pikachu, Butterfree, or... Needle Queen. So that's going to be like what my lineup is going to be like. I'm pretty much deciding now. Unless I decide to put a Gyarados in there, which I might do. Um, so that's going to be my team for this. I, I actually, when I get the fishing rod, I'm going to go get a uh, Magikarp. We, we can get Gyarados right right from there. Oh, shit. What am I? I'm not paying one bit of attention, dude. Like, oh, this is terrible. What? Is, I am such a dumbass. I'm talking too much. I'm not even playing the game. I was literally just like button mashing and talking. That's why we got our asses kicked. 
My bad. Oh, so embarrassing. That was all due to the fact that I'm trying to talk to the, my audience. So, if you can find it in your hearts to forgive me for that piece of unedited crap. We're just battling away. <laughs> Sometimes I like to listen to the music for a minute because if you just button mash, you don't get to hear the songs ever. Okay, now that I'm paying attention, I guess we're gonna have to use Butterfree. I should have waited to play because, like, I'm not in, like, a really talkative mood. Or, I'm not really in the mood to play right now, actually. I just wanted to do something different than play guitar right now because I was practicing all day. And ugh, my brain is just fried from practicing. My songs, I'm trying to, what I was doing was I want to do this thing called Spring Jam, which I've done in the past. But I want to revamp it and bring it back this year. Maybe with some editing for the first time ever. So it'll look nice and stuff. Um, I don't know. Pokey Guitars Jake, if you happen to see this video, what do you think I should do for Spring Jam? Should I do a light show in the garage and have it be dark with all the lights and fog? Or should I just do like some lights outside at nighttime or should I do jam during the daytime if you watch this video dude let, let, let me know in the comment which, which, which you think would be coolest I'll let you decide if you want so yeah I'm doing a spring jam this year soon before spring's over Once, probably once the trees start getting some leaves on them and I'll be ready to go um I'm still learning my songs though. I, cause the thing is, is every time I write a song, it usually lasts, the rhythm section usually lasts about a day or two of recording. Um, no, actually just a day. Um, and, oh, dude. I'm gonna try to take down this, this powerful onyx right here. Watch this. Oh, yes, good job. That's going to be great experience for my Bulbasaur. Way to go, Bulbasaur. Did you see that? I'm proud of my lands. Okay, so yeah, I'm playing this year for Spring Jam. I'm going to be doing live one whole clip. No interruptions, no editing as far as the clip is concerned. We're going to do one whole live clip, a video of Spring Jam, and it's going to be Thrash Catastrophe, all originals, original songs, by me, Bagabasas Thumb 9999. It's going to be uh, Thrash Catastrophe Part 5 through 7, and maybe, maybe, maybe we might do the new one, Numa, at the beginning to start us off. But we're gonna take you on a little, play a huge chunk of the Thrash Catastrophe Anthology, baby. Get subscribed. If you wanna see it. Alright. Oh shit. Good job, Bulbasaur. You tried, buddy. You tried. I, I wasn't paying attention again. I should have switched him out. We're okay though. Pikachu's gonna finish this one off good for us. Hey, I don't mind making some round trips to the Pokemon Center. We we still got time. We got a lot of time. So I want to get up to the point where I'm battling Misty, hopefully, by the end of this episode. But I'm not gonna actually battle her. I'm thinking about saving it for the next episode, because I'd rather, like... I, I have a feeling she's gonna kick my ass a little bit because 
My Pokemon are not all that strong yet, and her Pokemon don't fuck around, I swear to God, like, I remember specifically, like, at the point you get to in the game when you're, like, level 20s and stuff, her Starmie is just so fucking strong, like, you'll see once we get there how, what I mean. So I'm a little sketched by her Starmie coming up, so... I wanna... It's probably a good idea to lay some potions down on my Pokemon. And I need to start paying attention. I should have just walked back, saved those potions, but it's alright, why not, let's do it. Oh fuck, and I got Pikachu out, it's another one of those hiker dudes, so he's got rock Pokemon, hopefully it's Machop so I can just kick his ass real quick. Damn it Geodude, oh Butterfree's going out, never mind. It's Pokemon, uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver is the one where whatever your first Pokemon is is the one that walks with you, like Pikachu does, but, which I thought was a cool ass addition to that game. Like, I love the fact that your Pokemon in the first slot walks with you in that game, like, it's amazing. And you can talk to it and shit. I'm just going hard with Butterfree right now, I guess. I'll get Charmander out there in a minute. I think Misty's on a date. And she is... Up by Bill's house. And you gotta talk to her. Oh, no, confusing. Psychic is strong against fighting, I think. Yep. Yes, it is. All right, let's let's start training Charmander. Let's see how Charmander. I love how he looks, though. He's cute. Yeah, you ain't gonna do shit right now, though. Good thing I have Butterfree, or else we'd be in some serious hurting right now. We'd have to come out on top with Bulbasaur. So... Could have saved myself some energy and health points and put him to sleep. But I'm just playing Pokemon right now. Like I said, I had a long, hard day of practicing songs that are really difficult to play and I just I'm so exhausted and drained mentally so I need to do something different to occupy myself and recalibrate my brain a little bit I love me some Pokemon Yellow though When I was a kid, I used to, when I used to play this game, I would play it, like, all day long. I'm not even kidding. Like, I freaking, well, in the summertime, when I was off of school as a kid, I would play this game all fucking day long. I was pretty obsessed with this game when it first came out.
Yeah, the thing of it is, is like, I don't really necessarily, when it comes to Pokemon, um, the, the real way to beat the game is you have to beat the Elite Four, and you have to catch all 150 po one Pokemon, okay? So that's like the official way to beat it, but there's no way in hell I'm gonna catch every single Pokemon. And that was never really something I was like super into, like catching all of them. I never wanted to do that. I just wanted to make, customize and make my own teams and battle the Elite Four and like, you know, teach them sweet ass moves and stuff like that. So I was never, we're not gonna go. These videos aren't going to go all the way to the point where I catch all 150 Pokemon. Plus, that's impossible because I don't have an additional game in DS to trade with. So, the only thing I want to do with all my videos, the very last thing I'm going to do is catch Mewtwo. And that'll be my last video of me catching Mewtwo. And then I'm going to be done with the series. Because I, I want to move on to some other Dagobah games also, eventually. Right now I'm hooked on Pokemon, so we're going to just play this for a, a while. But I do want to bring back the Super Nintendo Mini. Um, we, we, did, we did some episodes in the early days of Dagobah System, or Dagobah Games, excuse me, the series. We did some, some Super Nintendo stuff. And I still had a lot of plans for that from back then. I just, uh, I didn't do, that was when I just started learning how to edit. So I had to teach myself everything. So I put it off on hold for uh, the future time when I knew more about what I was doing. So it could be a better video. So I'm still trying to map and plan it all out. It's like what I'm really going to do with it, but... It'll be sweet, hopefully. As long as we're playing games, that's all that matters, so... Man, I should have actually tried to beat him with Charmander. What was I thinking, dude? Oh well, I guess better safe than sorry. That I just wouldn't have beat Charmander, though. Okay, we're approaching 20 minutes here. Let's try to fucking beat him. At least get him to battle a little bit. Man, I thought I had Thunderbolt for a second, but I don't yet. I thought I saw Thunderbolt. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna use Charmander and try to fight this Oddish. Come on, Charmander, you can do it. This is intense, man. See, I, I said before in one of my videos, like, um, some of these battles with, with, just because it's not a high level doesn't mean the battles aren't still intense. They're back and forth sometimes, like that one was. Luckily, I came out on top. That's awesome. There you go, Charmander. Now you're getting up there. I'm gonna try a trick. Um, okay, I think Misty's over here. Isn't Misty supposed to be here? 
I guess that's not until after you talk to Bill. Okay. Let's go talk to Bill. Oh. <laughs> There's Pikachu being silly again. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemon. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out? Yes. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. <laughs> that was cute. We get to hear Pikachu's voice. I love the voice actor of Pikachu. If you've ever seen her, she's super cute, man. SS ticket. Come on, Pikachu. Okay, so now we're gonna head back to Cerulean. I think I'm gonna call it quits for now. Um, this, this definitely helped me out unwind a little bit. Um, next time will be the gym leader. I think it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. We'll have to see. I'm sure Poke Guitars Jake will probably let me in on what I'm supposed to be doing next. But, Alright. Those miserable rockets, look what they did here. Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. Oh, Drowsy looks awesome in this game, dude. Look at how cool he looks. That is a really good sprite. I can't wait to start seeing some new Pokemon as we go along our journey. Gen 1 and 2 are the best, in my opinion. I'm, I'm definitely a Gen 1 and 2-er. I like Gen 4 too, though. I never really played Gen 3 because I could never, ever find a copy of Emerald, Ruby, or Sapphire that wasn't a fake or wasn't corrupt. So... I never got a chance to play it, but I did own fake copies that I bought that I totally got screwed on my money with for for a while there. Okay, let's try Pikachu. Why am I doing this? I should have just kept battling. Oh well, I got lucky. Drowsy, man. He's a cool ass looking Pokemon right there. The sprite is doing him some serious justice. 
Can't wait to start seeing more Pokemon as we go along. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go to the center and heal up and we're gonna save the game. And we're going to play again some other time. So this week's episode will be titled, uh, Build Lighthouse. Or we'll just call it Bill's House. Training, no, yeah, just Bill's House. Part 8, Bill's House. Because that's basically what we did. Okay, saving now. Little bit of a shorter episode. It's alright, I just needed to get my mind off some stuff, so. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It, leave me some comments if you uh, have anything to say or you got any tips for someone. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this all on my own just by talking around and getting tips from Poke Guitars Jake checking him you can check his channel out too we do a uh, frogs themed guitar cover if any of you are interested in checking that out so thanks for watching get subscribed and we'll see you next time